Bonjour, 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 and welcome back to my channel, The Waves of Your Soul. Today, I am super excited to be doing a, another Oracle Deck Spotlight. I like to do those every three to six months or so, where I just share with you current favorite Oracle decks, because I feel like on my channel, I talk a lot about tarot. It is my first love. I love tarot decks. I love the structure it brings, and yet I love having a variety of them. But I still also am a huge Oracle deck lover much to the sadness of my wallet <laughs> and so I always want to make sure that every three to six months I kind of come back talk with you about the decks I've been loving how I'm using them how I'm integrating them into my practice and today we've got a good mix of newer oracle decks that I've never shown you on my channel yet and some older oracle decks that have just been there for me through and through and that have passed the test of time. So I've got about six Oracle decks I want to chat with you about today. I've got some indie and some mass market, so there should be something there for everyone. If this is your first time here, I want to say a huge welcome. My name is Marine. I'm a French tower reader, hence the accent. And on my channel, I love talking about decks and I love reading the cards. So if you'd like to see any of that, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoy the video, then feel free to leave it a thumbs up. It's a small gesture, but, but it helps my channel to survive. Of course, in the description box, you're going to find all the names of the decks I'm sharing today. You'll also find uh, links where you can get them for indie decks, especially because I always like to make sure that you're getting the real ones and not the fake ones, because that's a whole issue right now. So find all of my other social media links and other videos of mine you may want to check out. So without further ado, let's chat about some cool Oracle decks. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with a small but mighty deck that has truly been there for me through the years. It is the Fantastic Being mini deck by an artist that goes under Avec La Vie. Her, her name is Rebecca Lefebvre. This is the mini version. This was actually a gift from my very dear friend Tanya for my birthday a few years back, I think like four years ago now. So I've had this deck for a while. I believe that the creator has several of these. You can get the mini version and the large version, of course. Mini is truly about like playing cards even smaller size. I've got huge orc hands and <laughs> so for me I can completely hide it. <laughs> it's, but for those of you who have uh, smaller hands this would be perfect. And there's actually a few of these from this particular creator. There's a fantastic being one which is this one which is all about different animals, creatures, mythological creatures. There's also one about plants and there is one about animals. And honestly I just have this one but I've always wanted the other two. <laughs> so one day I need to just um, commit and cross this cross these off my wish list because I've been lusting after them for so long that I just need to like do it. So the way this works is that on one side of the card as you can see you have the artwork and then on the other side you have the text. So there's no guidebook for these oracle decks, everything is on the cards. On each card you have the name of the creature, mythological creature, animal, thing that is represented here because it's about fantastic beings. So some of them are real animals just like praying mantis that are still kind of like fantastical looking. And some of them are actual mythical creatures. You have a keyword and then you have a piece of text right here. And honestly, the way that this is written is very empowering and very healing at the same time. It's also a great oracle deck that I always pull from when I need confirmation. So the fantastic being one is about manifestation. I believe the other two are related to other themes. Like I think plant might be healing and animals is, I can't remember because like I said, I only have this one. <laughs> I absolutely love that these decks are only showcasing part of the animal or part of the creature. So it leaves a little bit of mystery. So here, for example, we have the anglerfish for adaptation. Here we have part of a bird, but actually it's greedy for risk. Here we have part of the plant and it is lotus tree fulfillment. So I love the artwork. I love the fact that we only see part of the creature here. And I love the mix between real animal, real plants. Here, for example, we have sloth for comfort with uh, mythological creatures. Here, I believe it's the phoenix card or griffin, be bold. I've used this over and over and over. This is like a truly one of my most used little decks in my collection. I 
pull it out all the time in my pick a card reading so if you look if you watch these then you know how it reads and this is one i've been especially reconnecting with lately like months of march i've been drawn to use it again i've been using it for daily draws because i can just shuffle it pull a card get my message on the back and off i go so i love those kind of decks for um, daily draws i love the fact that i don't even have to go into the guidebook it's all there it's super practical the size has meant that i've been able to carry it with me everywhere take it with me when i've got appointments in the waiting room i can pull a card and again for like all of my pick a card reading it's been fantastic as not just a way to choose a pile but also as a way to then get the last message of the reading we will um, choose a pile thanks to each image and at the end we reveal what it says and usually the readings are always perfect summaries of what the readings have been about so this is truly a fantastic deck in terms of the textile feel of this deck it's unlike anything I have because it's not coded so it feels like actual paper it does feel like art paper I don't know if you can see that on the camera but it's very textured and you can even hear it that makes this a beautiful deck to shuffle the one thing though is that you have to make sure that your hands are very clean because obviously it's white paper it's art paper so i feel like it could get dirty quite easily but i'm very like usually careful with my decks even though i take them everywhere and i'm a bit of a savage i do make sure that i have clean hands at all times i think this is a phoenix card yeah phoenix ignite so honestly this is just a joy even without the actual write-up the keywords in themselves are very great and you can do a lot with that but obviously the write-up in here is also fantastic and i highly recommend it so why don't i shuffle a card and actually read to you what it says so you can get an idea on how this reads let's see what fantastic being wants to come through today let's see what message we need to hear from everyone watching what do we need to hear right now we have the tree of life this is what it looks like beautiful and the tree of life and it says we are one the tree of life is an archetype of oneness and connectivity the intricate network of all creatures on earth it represents our complex family structure and connects our soil bond bodies to the underworld and the heavens above it has even served as a symbol of immortality as you live consider your legacy and how you would like to leave this planet upon your exit are there things you have left undone people you need to contact what things can you do to support the now and future growth well i think considering the current climate of what's going on in the world and the fact that we seem to be even more and more divided this is a very powerful message so i'll leave it at that let's move on to l'oracle du règne animal bus by sarah wilder or wilder i'm not sure how you say that i have the french mass market version of this but this definitely exists in english as mass market as well i've seen it i believe in english it's called the um, animal kin oracle i'm not 100 percent sure so i'll leave it in the description box again i'll make sure to leave the name so you guys can find it but because i'm french obviously i picked up the french version for the french version the guidebook is in black and white and for each of the card we get the name of the card with the animal we get a little message just like a couple of sentences and then we get the full message around who this animal is how do they live what is their familial unit what is their diet what is their environment almost like a little zoological text about the animal life and then usually the last paragraph helps you to understand how this relates to you in a guidance term but this will also teach you about the habits of the animal what it eats how it hunts and stuff like that which i really appreciate because i love animals and i love learning about them the one thing that truly really enchants me with this deck is the artwork and as you can see this deck is truly battered <laughs> because again this for me is an oldie but a goodie i've had it for years beat up i'm not gonna lie the edging is definitely peeling off on the sides and it's completely gone on the corners but you know what it's a sign of a deck well used and i don't even mind it means that it's been well loved and for that i'm grateful for it here are the backs in the french version i'm not sure what the backs looks like in the english version and in the french version because we french people love bling apparently <laughs> we have this like copper gilding which definitely does not hold the test of time as you can tell however the 
artwork is absolutely stunning and for someone who's not necessarily normally a huge fan of borders here i can only approve of them because how beautiful are they like in my rolodex of decks oh rolodex of decks that rhymes <laughs> in my rolodex of decks that i like to use on rotation every like months or whatever there's always always a nature or animal deck on the rotation because these particular energies are just super important to me they help me stay grounded and as part of my spiritual practice working with nature is super important it's kind of how i personally connect with you know god or the universe or whatever you guys believe in uh, my way of connecting to this particular higher than me uh, energy is oftentimes through nature so having a nature deck, a plant deck or an animal deck specifically is always very important to me and this one has been well loved over the years because I think first that like I was saying the artwork is so enchanting I love those borders, those colorful borders they do something to me just very much like good mood deck vibes for me it's so joyous, so fun I absolutely adore the fact that for every single card we don't just have the name of the animal it's not just about the duck for example it also has a keyword so for duck we have knowledge for example for the camel we have party so even if you didn't necessarily want to use the guidebook you could just use this as is because you do have a keyword it's not just this one you also have like harmony for example so i like that because sometimes oracle decks for animal just have the name of the animal on here and i'm like okay but what does it mean like obviously now after working with animal decks for years i have made my own associations with certain animals and certain concepts but not all of them like i'm not familiar with every animal energy and while some of them i'm very familiar with like gecko for example i have a lot of those at home i see them every day we cohabit at home <laughs> they're like the secret housemates they just chill all the time at night they come and say hello something like here for example a what god i even forgot what it's called in english give me a second a peacock sorry there we go when i see a peacock that's not something i see very often um, in my local environment actually it's something i never see <laughs> so it's harder for me to make that connection instinctively of what the peacock could be associated here and the fact that we do have a, every time a keyword on the card it does help to kind of reinforce those particular like association between an animal and a concept i love the choice of animal here because they include a lot of animals that one are local to my environment for example here the um, this particular fish we had the gecko um, we have like the whale and you know animals that I really enjoy working with there is a good array it's not just northern hemisphere animals which because for me I live in the southern hemisphere on specifically a tropical island I'm gonna want to be working with animal energies that are local to me I don't necessarily want to work with fox and rabbits and bears because we don't have any of those on in Reunion Island but we do have whales and we have geckos and we have like you know um, chameleons so for me those are important like associations and so I appreciate that this particular deck has a lot of variety like we have for example the starfish and the cat so that regardless of the environment you live in you'll be able to find insects or creatures that are relevant to you there's also an inclusion of some uh, magical or mystical creatures we had the unicorn we have the phoenix so I really enjoy that as well because you know I love me some magical fantasy vibes so I appreciate that so for example for the wombat let's have a look I love wombats when I was a teenager, I went for a exchange. I went as an exchange student to Australia because Australia is not super far from Reunion. And so I spent three months in Australia when I was like 15. And the wombat was my favorite animal <laughs> ever. It's so cute. So honestly, every time I see it, it makes me happy. Oh, I forgot to say each animal is linked to an element as well. Uh, that's something. So there's like actually four families like earth, water, etc, etc. So for the wombat, the keyword is exploration. It's linked to the earth. And then it tells you like, for example, here that they burrow. So it tells you about how they burrow. For example, the fact that they can be a little bit aggressive, that they like to mark their territory. The fact that they're a little bit um, solitary and what that means and so every aspect of their of a particular habit or behavior that they have will be linked to a little guidance and so you draw 
knowledge and guidance from like I was saying their habitat their habits their way of life and that makes it also super interesting like if you enjoy working with animal medicine it's so nice to actually get to know these animals better I wanted to share it with you here because I've not really shared that it on my channel for ages and here we have the whale one of my favorite cards obviously you know I love whales and her the keyword is this communication because of course you know that whales can sing for thousands of miles and for that I love them dearly. Let's continue with an indie deck this time. This is The Awakened Soul by Ethony. This was actually sent to me for review. So out of all the decks I'm sharing with you today, this is the only one I did not pay for with my own money. But my thoughts are still my own. Even when someone sends something to me for review, I will always tell you how I feel <laughs> and be honest. In this particular case, I can tell you that I've been really enjoying this particular Oracle deck. This is like I was saying by Ethony. So I will make sure to leave in the description box below uh, where you can purchase this as it's independent it comes with a great guidebook and i've actually done a whole review about this particular deck and uh, her latest penumbra tarot so if that's already out by the time of me publishing this i'll leave it in the cards and if not i'll make sure to come back and put it in the description box but there's like a whole in-depth review for this deck so i don't want to go too much on about it i just want to share it quickly here because if you want my full thoughts i invite you to watch the deep dive so this is the deck i've been using since february ever since um, i was sent this and honestly this has been really great to use in combination with tarot so whilst for example the animal kin oracle i might use kind of like on its own just pull one card for like a message something like that this i definitely have been using in combination with all of my more modern tarot decks as either clarification or as a complement to a reading even as like a wrap up for the reading but because there's like a lot of cards i think over 50 the fact that there's a lot of keywords both light and shadow type keywords the fact that the keywords are very expensive and that the artwork is super intuitive um, even though the guidebook is great i've I found that you don't necessarily need the guidebook for this one because honestly the images speak for themselves and with the keyword it's enough to get on this has been wonderful to pair with taro and i've even used it as a replacement for taro to do larger spreads and again because of the fact that there's more card it's been wonderful to work with in that way all of my modern looking decks like the light seers the bright future tarot the fifth spirit uh, all of those it's just a wonderful like pairer i really enjoy the artwork i think it's magical and enchanting and i like the variety of keyword so this has been really a wonderful deck to use this on the other hand compared to the first one i showed you is huge as you can see this time with my orc hand much bigger so just putting it out there for those of you with small hands or who are struggling with larger decks this might not be the deck for you but um, for me it's perfect in this size because it it means that we, I can really appreciate the artwork which is very beautiful. I've got three more and I'm keeping the best for last because honestly that last one I'm going to share with you is a recent addition to my tarot collection and it is a discovery I'm obsessed with and that I'm so shocked not more people are talking about it. First let's talk about a mass market deck at least in French. This is L'Oracle de l'Amour de Soi by Janet Chewy. It literally translates to the Oracle of Self Love. This exists I don't know if it still does in English indie originally years ago I wanted to buy it indie and for some reason or another I didn't but it was always on my mind and then uh, last year I was towards the end of the year I was in the, my bookshop like you know buying books minding my business <laughs> and I realized that this had been translated in French and not only that but it had been picked up by Smarket so obviously I had to pick it up it comes with at least in French a black and white guidebook with about a page every time for like the guidance but honestly the gr and the guidebook is great it does give you some interesting messages this is called the self-love oracle so as you can imagine this is definitely not for divination this is a lot more around self-development um, around self-love hug deck something that's going to help you when you're feeling low however it doesn't veer away from difficult themes so this is not a love and light deck like it talks about grief and things like that so and you'll see in the particular artwork there are some harder cards but the theme is definitely more loving loving guidance self-development so i wouldn't use this for divination but to like give you some insight 
almost like a little gift you can give to yourself or for others. It's really perfect. Like I was saying, the guidebook is great, but honestly, I've not been using it because the key phrases and the messages shortened are on the card. And this is perfect for me for like end of the day. I want to pull a card to reflect on my day or to set intention for the next day. And I don't necessarily want to be getting into a big guidebook. I don't necessarily want to be reading three, four, five pages of guidance. I have to be in a certain mood, but if it's like end of the day, I'm tired, most likely I'm in pain because of chronic pain and stuff, then these kinds of decks are perfect because I can pull a card, read my message, read the what it says on the card and off I go. And this is really how I've been using it for me personally, like just wrapping up my day, closing up the day or setting the intention for the next day, like pulling a card for, for the day after. I absolutely adore the artwork. I think it's gorgeous. It's this watercolor, beautiful artwork. It's fantasy inspired. We have dragons and fairies and mermaids and that truly speaks to my heart. It's everything I love. I think Janet's artwork is stunning. Um, here, for example, it says examine deeply. Here we had reveal your light. Uh, free yourself so you can see like some cards are not necessarily easy it's not necessarily going to be cuddling you lovey dovey light and love type of vibes however i really appreciate that because life is not love and light <laughs> life has some harder moments so i like the fact that for a self-love deck it doesn't necessarily shy away from talking about the ways that sometimes you need to free yourself sometimes you need to face your grief or sometimes you need to hear change your environment it feels like even though it's very much rooted artwork wise in fantasy the keywords and the messages are very grounded and in reality and they're practical things that you can actually do to make your life a little bit, a little bit more joyful or or a little bit more empowered here we have dance here we have dream bigger uh, forgive and let go here it says stop and breathe affirm your strengths take care of yourself create together cohabit show some flexibility get back up as you can see, it feels like actionable things that you can do. They're keywords with the key phrases that invite you to explore some avenue emotionally or to do something or to focus on something that will actually help you move on from a situation, get over a blockage, or just help you to figure out what it is that you need to do to process what's going on. Here we have spent some time alone. So I love this mix between like fantasy artwork with this practical, grounded, helpful messages that you can apply in your day-to-day. Because -day. sometimes texts like this can be a little bit too out there and you're reading the message and you're like, okay, yeah, this is great, but what do I actually need to do? Like you're telling me all these things about raising my vibration and aligning myself to my higher self, but what does it mean in terms of reality? <laughs> Here it says, you literally have to rest or you have to spend some time alone or you have to evolve, like change your opinion, attitude, beliefs. So I feel like this has been a very helpful deck for me in the recent months. It's honestly one that I really enjoy so much. It's one that I don't see myself putting away anytime soon. And it's one I've been using again a ton on my pick a card reading. Love to use it to like wrap up the reading, to give like a last advice from your higher self. And it's always, always on point. Let's move on to the Inner Compass cards. Another French mass market deck that I believe is originally indie in English. What can I say? It feels like we're very lucky. We're getting indie decks mass market translated and put out mass market in French, which I will not complain about. This might actually be available in English mass market as well. I'm not sure. This is one of my oldest decks and you can tell because the box has seen better days truly. <laughs> can you see all those like spots of uh, humidity and just wear and tear? The cards luckily are completely fine but the box looks like it's been left in a grandma's attic for decades. Yeah I picked it up again this was in a random French bookshop 
purchase but in the French version it comes with these cards I believe the English version is very similar in terms of the backings in terms of how many cards they are this is super thick like the cardstock is one of the thickest I've had so that's something to be aware of and I really really need to edge it because honestly the edges are disgusting <laughs> they're really showing their age this is like um, very old so yeah I need to give it a refresh honestly this is a kind of deck that I would only be using with without the guidebook. So whilst for example the one I just shared with you I'm very happy to use without the guidebook. This one for me without the guidebook is useless so it's one you don't really see me talk about on my channel a lot because I don't necessarily use it for others. It's kind of one I've kept for myself over these years. For each of the cards you don't even have at least in the French mass market version, you don't even have an art, the artwork or anything. You just have the name of the card and then you have a write-up. It's by Neil Van Lierup. So sorry if I've butchered that. So like I was saying, um, I don't ever use this deck without the guidebook because for me the write-up is where it's at. The artwork is normally absolutely not my thing. <laughs> well, this is one of my earliest decks. I've had this for years. So at the time I didn't really know what I liked, what I didn't like. I think if I was to say this deck now, I would never in a million years purchase it because this type of minimalistic artwork is really not me. It's not me you guys. You know I'm a maximalist. If you've seen my videos, you've seen how many decks I have, you've seen like the crazy jewelry I wear and I'm just like I'm not a minimalist type of girl I wish I was my fantasy self is my real self is just I like stuff and I cannot lie <laughs> so when I look at it this is absolutely not necessarily my style however at the time I didn't really know what I liked I just saw an oracle deck and I was like yeah sure I'll try it and it was a very pleasant surprise for what the guidebook has to say so for me the guidebook is truly where the magic is at there are a few things that have inspired this deck there are like science and psychological concepts we have some relevance to chakras there are archetypal type of concepts as well as more shamanistic and nature-based type concepts and the way that this is written you can really feel all those influence but personally for me I don't see them from the artwork so this is why I really need um, the guidebook so that I can understand what the concept means so here we have slow down here we have little signs like little synchronicities the gift and as you can see on each card you have these little dots here those type of dots whether it's a line like this or lines like this it will help you to then refer in the guidebook what family it belongs to so for example for philosophy it's those for archetypal um, knowledge it's those for like the chakras it's this type for mayan wisdom it's this for science and psychology it's this so those little symbols can help you figure out the origin of the influence for each of the concepts on each card obviously you don't need to um, the messages stand on their own you don't necessarily need to know it comes from chakra wisdom or it comes from mayan wisdom or it comes from psychological wisdom but for me you know i like to be in depth and I've worked with this deck for years so I kind of like gone used to going a bit deeper and I'm used to like figuring out which is which. I think this truly would appeal to you if you are looking for an oracle deck that's not too woo woo, not too out there. If you want like things that feels very practical but feels very relatable and more psychological than spiritual even though of course there are spiritual meanings here this is not the type of deck that's gonna tell you i don't know goddess isis has descended and blessed you with the ascended masters and all the angels and stuff like that this is a bit more grounded it still refers to spiritual concepts of course because like i was saying we have reference to chakras and mayan wisdom and things but in terms of like other oracle decks that i might have that are potentially going a bit more out there this feels a lot more grounded and obviously for those of you out there who indeed enjoy minimalist artwork then I think you would really enjoy that. I will say that I've grown to appreciate the artwork a lot more over the years because when my mind feels like it's racing and I have a lot of things going on, the fact that there's barely anything on the card, it feels almost like a breath of fresh air and I can let my thoughts breathe a little bit, like it feels like it's giving me space to settle down. 
Um, so it's grown on me. Would I need a lot of decks looking like this? No, <laughs> but this one is fantastic. It's one I've been picking, but as you can tell, it survived the years. I still have it after years of me owning it. I didn't get rid of it. And it's one I'm picking back up lately and that I've been really enjoying again. So I wanted to like share it with you guys. Okay, here we are. I saved the best for last. I am so pumped to be sharing this new deck with you guys. I've had it for about two weeks now and I really cannot wait to share it with you because it's so great. It's something I found on Etsy, literally random, you know me, and Etsy we have a love affair. Sometimes I'm out there scrolling when I have insomnia and I found some treasures <laughs> at like two in the morning and this is one of those occasions. And I ordered this a, quite a long time ago, but this actually comes from Ukraine. So as you can imagine, it takes quite a while to arrive. It arrived in absolute perfect timing and it's such a beautiful work that I'm so so excited to be sharing it with you. So this is called the Breath of the Night Oracle deck and first off it's huge because there are over a hundred cards in this deck. I was scrolling one day and I really wanted like a Lenormand inspired deck but bigger. I wanted like a chunky oracle deck, something that I could do prediction reading with, something that I could really stick my teeth in. And I stumbled upon this deck, I found a couple of reviews online, not very much. And it was honestly love at first sight. <laughs> Look, this this tower is huge. I don't think you guys can realize because again, orc hands, you can't really tell. <laughs> but uh, it's huge. <laughs> So the great thing about this deck is that first off, you can choose the size you want this printed. So mine, I forgot the size I chose, obviously, because sometimes goldfish brain. I'll put it in the description box, the size I chose. So I leave the size that I've chosen in the description box. But if I look at like stereotypical Los Carabeo card, you can see the size I have chosen is slightly bigger by not very much. So it's almost Los Carabeo tarot size, which I did on purpose because again, orc hands, I feel like I have no problem shuffling this. But you are able to if you have smaller hands and stuff because it's like again 100 cards it can be overwhelming. You are able to get this printed in smaller size. It's literally you make your own. So I love that. And this is originally a Russian deck. It's called the Breath of the Night. It was originally a Russian deck. So you can see the keywords are in English and in Russian. And this was published in Russian from what I understood a while back and then it stopped for some reason. And then this Ukrainian uh, artist, which I will leave the Etsy shop in box below, decided to pick this back up. She's revamped it, she's added some cards. And for me, this story of like someone from Ukraine adapting a Russian deck and then making it available for us to the world. First of that for me felt just so wonderful, a beautiful story. Um, just, just a lot of power there, I think, in terms of like reclaiming something. And so this is very special because it, because the first 36 cards are from the Lenormand. So you can see we had the tree, the snake, uh, the bouquet. So we've got your Lenormand, stereotypical Lenormand. We, we wish to just use the first 36 card and, and just use this as a Lenormand. You totally can because you have all of your stereotypical Lenormand card. And again, I think that the choice of images and everything that she chose is just so beautiful. I love it. It's feels very witchy, feels very like mystical and just wonderful. I'm so obsessed. I've actually been using this not stop but I've put it back in order because you can get a PDF either in Russian or in English and the PDF is juicy. It's definitely a lot of pages and I've been reading it and I've been studying this deck taking notes so that's why it's back in order. Like I said the creator is wonderful, just so nice. You can ask uh, for if you have any questions she responds to you. The way that this was packaged coming from Ukraine was so beautiful. She added some dried flowers. I'll share some pictures here. Just the whole experience was really precious and I'm very glad that you know that we have this Ukrainian artist that we can support their work. She has a lot of other oracle decks. She's got some Lenormands and everything and now that I've ordered from her once I kind of want all of her other decks so <laughs> I'm very tempted to order more. Obviously this is coming from Ukraine and so you can imagine with what's going on in the world right now that this is gonna take a while. It took a few months for me to get mine but I'm used to being patient. I really didn't mind and when it arrived it truly arrived in perfect timing for me. So once we 
we arrive to 36 the cross we have then the rest of the oracle so we had two man and woman card let me find them again uh where are they we have gentleman and lady and then we have extra man extra woman i love the fact that we are given kind of like victorian vibes and a lot more sexy vampire vibes but awesome so we can have like same sex couples and stuff so that's really cool then uh, we move on to the rest of the oracle deck and we still have a lot of cards so you have element cards so as you can see air earth uh, water and fire and then we continue on with lots of cool concepts so we have the icebergs the vampire scales stairs this is truly a witchy deck like for all of my witches out there you're gonna love this it feels super intuitive like i said uh, there is no guidebook this is you just get the cards but you do get a pdf and honestly uh, the pdf is really well written i mean it's a little bit in broken english because like i said the creator is ukrainian so when you read the guidebook just beware the english is a little bit broken but the depth of the research is still there and you can tell that a lot of thought went behind this and it really helps you make association with every single concept every single card but honestly you don't really need the guidebook even though i'm really enjoying reading it obviously i'm enjoying uh, reading like the meanings behind it because obviously originally like i said this was a russian deck so there's some like um eastern european type uh, messages here eastern european type traditions and and like folklore element that the guidebook helps me understand but for me this is truly universal the keywords here everyone can understand like mechanism the wolves the eclipse the horseshoe the ritual it just feels like super easy to read with at least for me the dragon you have a mix between creatures between elements between objects and so overall this definitely feels like a witchy deck but it's amazing for divination if you want to find out what's going on if you want to pull some card around what's coming next and stuff i've been practicing it on myself and on my friends i've not used it on my channel yet don't worry there's definitely some pick a card readings where we're going to be using this but i've been practicing it for my friends and for myself and oh my god it's so spot on you guys like this is a sharpshooter it speaks to you with symbolism but when you read it for day-to-day -day things it will literally read the situation two fields <laughs> like this is a sharpshooter and you can use it for divination you can use it obviously for more like spiritual questions for witchy practice it's great for ritual you could use this even but it has such a good array of card obviously with a hundred cards you can imagine there's some light and some shadow we even have a shadow card the scarab beetle i love this one i love what it says in the guidebook it actually goes on about how it's a symbol for luck but it's also literally putting its own shit and so in what way sometimes are you pulling your own shit <laughs> and in what ways that shit might be bringing you fortune or not i love that it's like not your stereotypical oracle like darkness look at this one oh it's so good and the voodoo doll as well when you're being manipulated uh, and you don't realize just wonderful the boomerang when you put something out there and it comes back could be great or could be bad depending what you've been putting out there there's just so much to get in this deck it's wonderful and honestly look we have a hundred a hundred and one 101 cards right and then we have added cards on top of that so we had the 101 cards and then on top of that we have the knife loneliness karmic tale and mystery keeper so she added extra cards to the original deck that was uh, created i'm obsessed as you can tell <laughs> the lady who creates this is so kind so nice i love the fact that you can choose different uh, size as you've seen the cardstock it feels very um, shiny it, it's definitely one of those shiny cardstocks um, it feels like it's coded so, but that means that for me it's going to be really great resistant to wear and tear and honestly i'm just grateful that from my little island in the middle of nowhere i'm able to support someone who lives on the other side of the world whose country is going through terrible hardship and who are trying to continue to sell their art to sell their decks 
And for that, I'm just so grateful that I've stumbled upon her Etsy shop. And I want all her decks. <laughs> like I said, she has other Lenormand decks. They all feel very witchy like this. They are just giving those like Halloween, Halloween vibes that I'm super here for. And you're gonna see a lot of this deck because I'm obsessed. I should have said it doesn't come in a box. But honestly, I don't give a shit. For me, I'm here for the cards. And the PDF is great, so no complaints so here we go my friends this is it these are all the decks i wanted to share with you today doing a little bit of an oracle deck spotlight sharing with you the oracle decks i've been loving lately and how i've been using them i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't hesitate to leave it a thumbs up you can leave me a comment i'd love to know either which one of these are your faves or the oracle decks you've been loving using recently let's chat in the comments let me know i love to read you and i respond to all of my comments and until my next video i want to send you so much good vibes and keep navigating the waves of your soul. Bye!